Hello students, this is Dr. Sandeep Golla, MD Dermatologist. Today I am going to brief about common dermatological condition lichen planus. Lichen planus is the terminology derived from the Greek. Lichen means moses and planus means flat. Definition wise, it is an inflammatory papillar squamous skin disorder. It can affect any part of the body like hair, nails, oral mucosa, skin. So, incidence is less than 1% and males are affected more than females. What is the etiology and pathogenesis of lichen planus? Lichen planus is an autoimmune problem. But there are few things which may trigger the inflammatory process like uh, infections, drugs or any chemicals. Infections agents more than 50 to 60 percent of oral lichen planus is associated with hepatitis B infections. Medications like aminoglycosylates and dental amalgam and few antimetabolite drugs may trigger lichen planus. What is the pathogenesis of lichen planus? It is a cell mediated immunity mainly CD8 T lymphocytes. We can categorize lichen planus pathogenesis into three different steps. One is like recognition of lichen planus like antigen by the body in the, on the skin. Next, after recognition, triggering of cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Third step, these cytotoxic T lymphocytes will go and damage the keratinocytes, the skin cells which causes apoptosis that is programmed cell death. What are the clinical features of lichen planus? How they look? So, pruritic means that is symptoms. How they look? Signs. Flat topped, purple colored lesions. If you notice them, first thing we have to keep it in mind is lichen planus. There are different types of lichen planus. Hypertrophic which means elevated. This site of hypertrophic lichen planus most probably seen in on the hands and legs. Atrophic lichen planus. Atrophic means it's like skin which has been damaged, which has below the level of the skin. Annular lichen planus. This type of lichen planus will have ring shaped lichen planus. Then linear lichen planus. Linear lichen planus means if you damage, if they prick the uh, skin with the nail of the, of the lichen planus, it will like uh, grow in the, uh, in the uh, line of the when itching. That is called Cobner phenomenon. Cobner phenomenon is seen in acute stage of lichen planus. Nail lichen planus. Nails can have like pterygium formation or it may lead to 20 nail dystrophy. Lichen nitidis. Lichen nitidis means tiny dot 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 like lesions they called macules or to papules mainly seen on dorsal part of penis. Folkler lichen planus means lichen planus may infect the like a hair follicle root of the hair follicle which causes permanent damage of the hair. Mucosal lichen planus means lichen planus involving oral mucosa and genital mucosa. Next thing is inverse lichen planus. Inverse lichen planus means lichen planus involving the flexures. That means axilla, inframammary folds and groins. These are various types of lichen planus to brief about. Then one more terminology I should mention is Wickham striae. This might be like entrance bit. Wickham striae is like it's like a, a scene in uh, like chronic scratching may cause reticulate white lines on the lichen planus skins, which can be only visible through like a hand and lens. So, like lichen planus can have few differential diagnoses like hypertrophic lichen planus need to be differentiated for like a few things like prurigo nodularis. Prurigo nodularis is due to like a chronic uh, like insect bite reactions on dry skin. Then follicular lichen planus should be uh, differentiated by like a keratosis pilaris or lichen sclophlozorum. Annular lichen planus means ring shaped lichen planus should be differentiated from tinea infections. Nail lichen planus, pterygium, pontinal dystrophy should be differentiated from uh, nail fungal infections and nail psoriasis and lichen nitidis need to be differentiated from like a keratosis pilaris as well and uh, atrophic lichen planus need to be differentiated from lichen like uh, sclerosis atrophicus there are dif differential diagnosis for each type of lichen planus so in biopsy 
what all the things you should look at for the confirmation of lichen planus two things are common for all types of lichen planus that is basal cell degeneration with band like infiltrate of lymphocytes along with that wedge shaped hypergranulosis then uh, ballooning of the uh, keratinocytes that is balloon degeneration then uh, red, red elongation of reti ridges which look like sawtoothed appearance then basal lloyd bodies or hyaline bodies should be looked at for the different types of lichen planus so this is how we diagnose lichen planus and we differentiate from other things how we treat it so usually lichen planus heal in a proper way with the white patches on the skin many uh, like uh, more than 70 to 80 percent of clients they heal in a proper way but remaining 20 to 30 percent of the clients should be treated in symptomatically like we if we are like less than 20 percent of body involved we shouldn't go with the like topical treatment if it is more than 20 percent of body involvement we have to go systematic treatment so topical treatment first thing we have to go for is strong potent like uh, steroids that is uh, fluorocin and acetonide or uh, clobidazole propionate or halopetazole this under occlusive treatment along with good moisturizers with non-sedative antihistamines will help in reducing the symptoms of the lichen planus. If this is not helping then we can approach the systemic treatment. Systemic treatment first treatment of choice is like systemic corticosteroids. It should be treated from 1 mg per kg body weight to slowly tapering out within 6 to 8 weeks. It shouldn't be tapered like in a sudden way so that it may not like a uh, trigger like rebound phenomena of lichen planus. Then again the oral treatment which targets T lymphocytes that is cyclosporin or uh, methotrexate. These are the other oral systemic drugs we can uh, suggest for treating 20% more than 20% of lichen planus. Methotrexate can also be suggestible for uh, like a lichen planus which is more than 20% involved. Then other forms of treatment for lichen planus is eczema lasers, broad spectrum phototherapy. So, these things we can uh, like uh, conclude basically for treating lichen planus. So, lichen planus like what is lichen planus, types of lichen planus and uh, how would you differentiate lichen planus, what are the basic histopathological changes in lichen planus and treatment of lichen planus. What are complications for lichen planus, usually there are like minimum complications of lichen planus. Why because it is very like a usually self limiting uh, condition. But hypertrophic lichen planus may lead to squamous cell carcinoma. Follicle lichen planus may lead to permanent uh, scarring of the scalp. Nail lichen planus may cause like a 20 nail dystrophy with permanent dystrophy of the nails. And uh, lichen planus of the mucosal area, genital area may lead to permanent uh, scarring of the like and atrophy of the mucosal areas. The, by this I can conclude lichen planus. Thank you.